you know, you may be wondering, well, why does that name, uh, James Carlo, keep coming up? And it's simple. Um, he was county judge in Bowie County for, I guess, 24, 25 years, something like that. During that time, he was able uh, to put in place certain folks to do certain jobs. He also became, uh, from what I understand, he has interest in, in a title company, our title companies, plural. And some are thinking this is one of the reasons why this new clerk was appointed, because um, the former judge has ties to the current commissioner's court. Think about it. Uh, Jack Stone was uh, served with the former judge. Uh, John Addington served with the former judge, as did Kelly Blackburn. Uh, Pat McCoy's from the same hometown uh, as the former judge. So there's connections there. And I do find it interesting that the two Republicans, or so-called Republicans, I call them rhinos more than Republicans, actually uh, one nominated Denise Thornburg and the other seconded that, uh, which tells you that in Bowie County you can't tell a Democrat from a Republican. It's the most most amazing thing that I have ever seen in politics is that, you know, people keep saying, well, you know, we, we just want to vote for the person. We don't want to vote for the party. Well, let me tell you something. A person's party affiliation is a good indication of what they believe. And one of the things that Democrats believe in is big government, that government knows better than the people. That's exactly what happened yesterday on the commissioner's court. Um, you know, you've got Pat McCoy who made the nomination. And then you've got John Addington, who seconded the nomination of someone who served under a Democratic administration, who then went in and fired three people who had connections to the Republican Party in one way or another. You tell me politics don't play a role in this? You've got to be kidding me. Good morning. Thanks for joining the Voice of Freedom. Hi. I just have one question. Um, you're talking about the Republicans who... Uh uh, nominated it and seconded uh, the vote for this new person, but didn't Lacey just say that it was a vote, all five of them voted for her? That's exactly right. So you have the three Republicans on this commissioner's court. The, the, you got McCoy, Addington commissioners, and then Lacey is the judge voting for this individual from the previous Democratic administration. Oh, sorry about that. So, I mean, so again... This is something that needs to be brought out. You've got a Republican who nominated, Republican who seconded, Republican who voted. It was 5 nothing, And then this lady goes in and fires people. And that doesn't even make sense from a business standpoint, does it? Uh, you're brought in as a temporary person in Thornburg. You're temporary. <laughs> this person isn't up to speed on what's happening inside that courthouse, inside that clerk's office. Clerk Nichols made a lot of changes to that office, brought it actually into the 21st century, because before she took over, it was in the <laughs> horse and buggy century. I mean, they're using number two, ten, number two pencils and big chief tablets. Now they're actually using computers and the internet. Pretty cool. So she, she walks in and fires the very people who can help her in the transition. Then she brings in people of her own workings, one of which is a lady who is supposedly going to run for the position as a Republican. Now, does all this tie back to the title companies? I believe it does, because those title companies were, were uh, removed from the clerk's office. The title companies have been upset about that since the beginning, and now they're going to be let back into that courthouse. And the, and the connection here to everything is going to be the former Bowie County judge, James Carlo. Oh, <laughs> I know. It's, it's, it's amazing to connect the dots. That's the reason why, that we must have people on the commissioner's court that respect the will of the people. Because you, as the voter in Bowie County, were told yesterday, as you've been told many times since the beginning of the year, your vote doesn't matter. The will of the people does not matter. The will of a few is trumping the will of the majority. That's politics in Bowie County. Now, you can scream about it. Uh, you can laugh it off. You can think that we're crazy. But just take a look at the evidence. And until we decide that we as a people are going to get involved in this thing, 
and turn over that commissioner's court and turn out the ones that have no regard for the will of the people, then we will continue to have the corruption that we're seeing right before our eyes. Also, is there a racial element to what happened yesterday? Benjamin Dennis, NAACP, went to bat for Elisa Henderson, a woman of color. Five white guys said, we don't want her, we want this other one. Well, one was in the office already. One was familiar with the procedures. The other, from another department, and who, by the way, was moved before the Republicans took over to protect her for some reason, yet they chose the one who's not even in the office to be the new clerk. Hmm. It makes one ponder, does it not? So the solution to the problem here, because I'm all about solutions. I want solutions. We must be involved in elections. We must be involved in tossing people out who have no regard for the people and putting people into office who respect the will of the people. That's what needs to happen. If not, you will continue to have what we have right now. Corruption in the Bowie County Courthouse. It's all about the few. It's not about the masses. That must change or else.